So I literally want to talk about the words top and bottom. So any gay person watching this, I'm sure you know that other gay people constantly will ask you like, are you a top? Are you a bottom? And even sometimes straight people will ask you, are you a top? Are you a bottom? And it's a question that, although I don't mind answering, always makes me uncomfortable because it furthers this stereotype that gay people are only sexual beings and they have nothing else to offer the world, right? It's kind of like how there are trans people who are famous, right? Like Laverne Cox or like Janet Mock. And they get asked, are you pre-op? Are you post-op? And what I've typically seen them respond, and, and, and I think any trans celebrity, what I see them say in response is, you know, I, I don't want to talk about it because that makes the focus on that specific thing. When the focus should just be about trans people in general, it kind of it kind of dehumanizes them to to focus so much on this trivial aspect of like, what exactly does your body look like? And that's how I feel about this topic. Yes, in an ideal world, we're so comfortable with each other, straight and gay people, and gay people with other gay people, that you can talk about this, you can talk about your preferences, and it's not a big deal, right? And so there's a part of me that appreciates when people ask, because it's good that we're even at that point in society where we don't even have to pretend that we're not gay anymore, right? But at the same time, historically, gay people have always been portrayed as the perverts of society, right? As these one-dimensional, flawed, tragically flawed creatures who are just purely sexual beings and, and that's it. And so when the conversation always goes back to this top versus bottom thing, it reintroduces that idea that that's all that's all there is to us and that's very sad that we're still at that stage where it always it always comes up and people always want to know and what bothers me more is when straight people ask because then i feel like they just got power it's one thing if gay people do it and i know that that's a double standard to say that but when straight people ask you stuff like that it's sort of like they just got the power back to, in a sense, objectify gay people. You have to be mindful of the things that people are communicating to you and how you're responding. So it's a tough thing because when you're with gay friends, you just want to like have fun and whatever, say stupid shit sometimes. But it's an interesting observation, I think, that it always seems to come up, at least with the people I meet. And it's sad that we never ask straight people that. Like, when you meet a straight person, you're not like, hey, what's your favorite sexual position? And yet, with gay men, there's an obsession with it. Both internally and externally outside of the gay world, people want to know, are you this, are you that? You see it in comment sections of YouTubers even. Like, oh, that person's such a bottom, that person. And it's just, when you think about it deeper, I think it's kind of disturbing. Let me know what you think about these words.